this is Luke with the Android Guys podcast. I'm here, as always, with Scott. How you doing? Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> you know what that's from? No. Look at me. I'm Sheriff Woody. Oh, 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 oh. Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> I'm the shark with Woody's yeah, yeah, hat. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I get it. <laughs> What's it from, Luke? With Toy Story. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so we're uh, toys. That's a good segue, right? Yeah. Let's talk about a game. Toys and games. Yeah. Yep. You've been playing a, a, a game on your phone. Uh, this one, I cannot wait to get into. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited to learn what this is just based on the name. Mm-hmm. So uh, take it away, Scott. What is this game? I've been playing a game called Turnip Boy mm-hmm. Commits Tax Evasion. <laughs> <laughs> Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion. Yeah. All right. What is it? Um. It's a fun little game. Yeah? Yeah. It's from a developer called Plugin Digital. It's a free game to install. Uh, I found it. I believe this was recommended to us by the developer. It kind of came across our inbox. I added it to my wish list and said, one day I plan to play this little game. Yeah. And I did. So this game is free to play up to a point. Okay. It is almost like a free sample of a larger game. Ah. Uh, you quite literally run into a paywall in the game. Oh, really? Your character runs, you you get to a wall and you can't get around it. Unless you, you pay money. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's like five or five fifty or something like that. Okay. And then it unlocks the full game. Sure. So uh, the game itself is kind of like a top down. Uh-huh. Looks like a game that you might see for Super Nintendo Nintendo Wii. Yeah, it kind of has that idea of like Link or Stardew Valley. Yep. That was kind of. It feels like a Zelda kind of Mm -hmm. explore the map, move around. You've got two controls. You can use uh, left button, you know, tap on your screen, right. And I found that the controls are pretty nice. They kind of find your finger wherever you put them down within a certain range. And you just kind of move in all four directions across this map. Mm-hmm. Early on, you run into your landlord and you uh, meet him and you find out that uh, you owe him. No, he's the mayor. I'm sorry. He's the mayor. Mm. And he uh, tells you that you owe taxes. Mm. You tear up this piece of paper and now you are on the hook for tax fraud, <laughs> tax evasion. <laughs> So now you now you have to do his bidding. So uh, he sends you on these quests. You are a turnip. Okay. He is a mayor onion. Uh, uh-huh. And you go around and you meet different characters. There's carrots, there's oranges, blueberries, different types of things. But then you also run into animals. Mm. Uh, your your f- first quest is to bring back, I believe, a bag of fertilizer. Mm-hmm. Uh, you meet a character that has a watering can. And you can pick it up, put it in your arsenal. So there are like some activity things, you, your right button. So if things get in your way, like an enemy, mm-hmm. you can kind of punch them, not punch, but um, hit them with your weapon. Sure. And then there are certain things like um, bags of soil or whatever you can add water to. Ah. So you can kind of like arm yourself or equip, uh-huh. and then you kind of cycle through when it comes yeah, time. Yeah, to different use tools them. for different situations. Mm-hmm. It's nothing... Uh, If you've played games for a while, Uh you've seen this kind of thing play out. Okay. It's it's a fun game. Yeah. I enjoyed my time with it. Uh, It took me to get through the first quest. You start to kind of like wander around an area and then you realize, oh, I met this guy that said uh, he he sells food at the place is called Tier 3 Subs. Mm. (laughs) Excuse me. So that's that's an interesting name for a sub shop. Yeah. But then you go further in and you realize that you meet this girl and she's a uh, an influencer mm. and she won't let you pass unless she's you're a tier three sub. Uh, you have to be a subscriber. And then uh, that piques your you go oh yeah you know and you go back to that guy and he's like oh thanks for coming back. All of these characters on the game you can kind of walk around and walk up to and kind of hit the button and there's just like a quick animated conversation between you and that character. Uh Uh-huh. So you just kind of pay attention to, oh, this guy needs this. Mm -hmm. I'll go find it. And then he'll put me onto the next part that I need to. Sure. So you have this task and then you start hearing about, you know, 
oh, I'd love to help you, uh, but I can't. I can't concentrate because of all the noise coming from the pigs. Uh, and then you're like, okay, I got to figure that out. Yeah, there are some hidden areas to figure out. Uh -huh. You know, you have some mechanics where you have, um, you know, you pour your water on these like fertilizer kind of bags, and instead of uh, pouring water on two times to explode it, you pour it on once, and then you can kind of kick it. Mm. and then it opens up another part of the board so you can use them mm. as bombs i see and you start to uncover different parts of the map where oh this is actually a four-part puzzle if i just kick one in this direction then it unlocks and i kick it in this direction then i could figure out how to get out of this area ah. you go in you fight this you know boss and then you go back to the mayor and he's like thanks i appreciate it uh now i need you to do this for me mm-hmm so you head off to do that, and that's right when you run into this wall. Interesting. You can go back. You can see all the stuff that you've done and kind of play around that top world. Yeah. But from that point on, you have no idea, you know, how much game is left. And okay. So that was frustrating to me. Yeah. It, I tried to figure it out by looking at the description in the game and just kind of getting a sense, uh, you know, did I complete a fifth of the game already? Sure. Did I complete, you know one out of like two dozen levels or sure. quests for five dollars it's kind of a gamble yeah there now there are no ads you're not going to see any ads along the way okay so that was nice yeah um but i would like maybe something that just lets me know hey beyond this you know you've only gone so far sure you know you 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 still owe the mayor for whatever so you have Something that gives you an idea. Yeah, give you a little bit of an idea. If I'm going to spend money on the rest of this game, how much more game am I getting? Yeah. is it, Am I a fourth of the way done already? Right. Then I'm not going to put five bucks into it. Right. But if I'm, you know, if I've got, you know, a dozen more levels, yeah, probably. Sure. Especially if I don't have to see any more ads or any ads along the way. Right. Um. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a fun game. Mm -hmm. The graphics, uh, again, remind me of something that would be... You know, Super Nintendo, yeah. even Nintendo, mm -hmm. um, somewhere along the line, just like this top world. And then conversations kind of put you in this character. They kind of splash to the front of the screen. And uh, it's just a tapping of the screen to go through the conversation. Yeah. You don't have to make any choices on how do you respond to this person. Sure. Um, but at least through that level. Right. Uh, I scored this a 3.2. Okay. Uh, features wise, I'm I'm kind of being protective of my score here because it, it's above average game, mm -hmm. but I, that's it. Yeah. And you it, only have a really a partial view. Yeah. So I, I, I gave it four on graphics. I gave it three and a half on replay value and audio, mm -hmm. but on ads and notifications and in app purchases, I'm giving it a two Yeah, because I kind of felt a little deceived. Yeah. Um, and then features, I'm I'm leaving it at a three, like just above average, because I assume it's going to deliver. Yeah. Beyond. Yeah, I'm sure there's probably more to do once you get into the the real game, quote unquote. Mm. But is it billed as a free game? Yeah. To download. So when you see it, it just basically it's an E for everyone, ten and above game, and it just it's just a free game. But then as I was. You know, I, I hit that point. And yeah. So I went to the comments at the Play Store and, you know, there are people saying, you know, I was very excited to play this. Unfortunately, there is a literal paywall. Enjoy the five minutes you get, you know. Yeah. But it was more than five. That's yeah. that's hyperbolic. I would sure. say you could probably spend about 20 minutes. Sure. You know. Yeah, as you're fully more. exploring the area that they give you. But still, it, it does seem a little bit... um I don't know if underhanded is the right word, but it, it doesn't sit right quite to, to say this is a free game, mm -hmm. but you only get a portion of it and then you have to pay. Yeah. It, it, and the description just says, uh, you know, what the premise of the game is. It doesn't say anything about enjoy multiple levels or yeah. meet, uh, tons of characters. There's no real way to know beyond that. Yeah. It's almost like if there was an option <coughs> to, of like a free trial or something yeah. like that. Yeah. It said that instead of just free. Yep. Or uh, if this was part of the Play Pass program. Sure. And they were making, you know, I could see 
definitely recommending it to somebody to check out. Yeah. Uh, for somebody who might, you know, they don't mind dropping a few bucks to taking a gamble on things. Right. I would definitely feel comfortable saying this would be the kind of game that you might want to try that with. Yeah. But if you're just looking for the out of box experience and, hey, w- what do I get? You know, after about a half hour, you realize um, this is as far as I can go. Right. Unless it asks me to literally cough up about five bucks. Right. So, yeah. It, uh, good borderline potentially great yeah if i know what's out there sure so yeah that's turnip boy commits tax evasion uh super interesting name with also a very interesting situation that you're left in uh all right awesome well thanks scott yeah thank you